Okay, so this right here is uh, <laughs> this right here is granite, and we're gonna find the density of granite, and we're also gonna find the density of basalt. So first we have to uh, find the mass, which uh, we have to use this triple beam balance right here. Uh, you have to make sure it's zeroed so that it's not like too high or too low below the lines. And then, uh, so let's go ahead and put the granite there. And then use this to <laughs> how much it weighs. So. I guess we're blood too. Hey, now, can you pull up your progress report? Yeah. I think you guys can see two tabs in there, right? So keep that on the blackboard yeah, tab, yeah. right? Open up. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. I could be in the other one. Is it class extended or is it regular time? Regular time. Oh. Let me take it. Let me take it. Let me take it. You can write down my text corrections. Put it in the inbox. Make yeah. sure it says text corrections across the top, please. <laughs> So this is like. Can I get that paper now? Seventy. Are you, did you are you done with everything else? Yeah. Well, Seventy five point five. Let's put it there. Hit okay. Seventy five point five. So this is. Uh, 75.5 seventy five point five grams. So we have to go ahead and write that down. Uh, this is granite. And now you can go ahead and uh, do the volume. Okay, so uh, first you have to get the starting uh, measurement here. This is uh, forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, hundred forty two, forty four, forty six. Yes. Hundred forty four uh, milliliters to start with. So hundred forty four milliliters. So be strong. And then with willing to find the station by yourself. Okay, so you have to like slide it in, not just like throw it in there. So like that. And then you have to get the which type of test correction do I want to do? Which is, because there's only three types of acceptable test correction. 174. Okay, so figure out which one of those you want to do. So you take the second measurement, and well, you subtract the first measurement from the second one, and that'll be like 30, 30 milliliters. So the volume is 30. So now you take the 75.5 divided by 30, which will give you 2.52 grams per milliliter. So that's the density of uh, granite. And if you really want to make sure that your measurements are accurate and precise, you could uh, do those measurements uh, two or three more times and then take the average. Hello. This is basalt. Look at it. Yes. All right. So today we'll find the density of basalt. First of all, you find the mass of basalt. You put in the triple beam balance. Go all the way to 40, I guess, and then 7, I'm guessing. And they have to equal together. This line with this line, they have to like be together, I guess. Alright, so it's, it's 40.7. 40, 40. So that's the mass. Grams, of course. Uh, okay, did you see that mistake? Because I saw that mistake. And then you gotta find the volume. 
of the salt. To find the volume, you have to put water in this thing. It's called a <coughs> graduate cylinder. So you put water in there. Yes, water. So we take the measurement of the water, it's 120 milliliters. So 120, that's the starting like, measurement. And then we put the rock in there with the salt. We tilt it a little. Slide it in. <laughs> there we go. It's in. And then you look at the measurement. <laughs> Right now it's 120. No, it's 130. Wait, 120. 136. It's 136. So you subtract 136 minus 120. That's six. That's one, and that's zero. So it's 16 milliliters. So to find the density, you have to divide the mass, which is 40.7, by the volume, which is 16. So you get a calculator. See, TI-108, the blue kind, all right? And then, and then you divide 40.7 by 16. And it's two point five <coughs> grams over milliliters. And that's the density of this rock. Basalt. Basalt. Okay, so uh, doing this, uh, doing those measurements two or three more times could have helped catch that mistake, okay? So the mistake was, uh, it shouldn't have been 40.7 grams, it should have been, um, what, 47 grams. So that was a mistake, and doing that multiple times, you guys probably would have caught that mistake. Um, and then in addition to that, the other thing that should kind of trigger some second thoughts should have been the fact that one of the reasons we're determining this, these density or the density of granite and basalt is because we are identifying that granite is less dense than basalt. But uh, during these measurements, they came up with very similar densities because of the mistake. So hopefully that would have triggered another thought like, hey, maybe we need to... Uh, um, you know, redo these measurements because Mr. Perkins is telling us that granite is less dense than basalt, but really our measurements came up the same. So uh, just, uh, if you did take 47 divided by 16, I think you would have got like 2.9 uh, grams per milliliter, not grams over milliliters, okay? So thanks guys, well done.